Our co-host hasn't been here in a really long time. She looks like she should work at Hamburger Mary's. Her name is the legendary Pippi Lovestocking! Well, good evening everyone. What a treat for you to see me. I hope you're okay. I hope this outfit doesn't make me look drunk and bitter. Whatever! Remember the girl who did that from Clueless? Yeah, no need to visit anybody else. I think she died. She died. Real failure. Um, but I'm okay. I'm doing all right. I have missed you guys. Did you notice I was gone at all? Or I guess, uh, there's like lots more people coming in. That's wonderful. Wonderful. I've got my stack card, so that's uh, an incentive to get busy. We're getting commercial work and stuff like that. And, and I'm so, it's such a compliment to me to be included at a Hamburger Mary night. So, I don't know what that means really, do you? Yeah. The backstage smells horrible. I mean, I've been in a lot of, a lot of slaughterhouses over the years. <laughs> I haven't had a drink for a while. I've been good. I've been, you know, I, you know, I've been looking for religion. That's, it's, been, it's been a problem. My whole life I was raised in North Carolina, the Bible Belt, you know that area? You heard of it? It's, it's the hate state. And, um, <laughs> so I was, I was born gay, I was, you know, my parents did a lot of drinking, uh, you know, and so but they did get drunk, my mom would sit down in a pub with something nine months later. Out comes, well, there it is. Uh, so I, by the time I was cooked up in my mom's uterus, it looked like a Tijuana cat house in there. Uh, there's empty bottles and I quill. <laughs> the walls have been kicked in. So I fell out of her vagina. And I swung that umbilical cord over my shoulder, I sashayed away, I said, I never need to see one of these things again, it's such a fiat. <laughs> I know they're expensive and popular, but I don't know. So I've always, I, I just started dressing in drag when I came out to San Francisco so I could feel more alienated from the community. <laughs> I don't know, parenthood, it's not my thing. So that's why I have a song about uh, birth control, it's called The Pill, so music please maestro. And you can tip me yeah, at your leisure. Boy, that smells good to me. I think it's a home. You wind me and dined me when I was your girl. And you promised if I'd be your wife, you'd show me the world. But all I've seen of this old world is a bed and a doctor's bill. So I'm tearing down your brooder's house Now I've got the pill I'm tired of all your crowing How you and your men play Cause you're holding a couple in my arms Another's on the way Well, this chicken's done tore up her neck so I'm ready to make a deal And you can't afford to turn it down Cause now I've got the pill And this old maternity dress I've got It's on the go in the garbage The clothes I'm wearing from now on Ain't gonna take up so much yardage In my skirts and pockets Just a few little fancy grips I'm making up for all those years Since I've got the
thirty dollar uh, raise. So I dreams can come true. Maybe you can. This is what Honey Boo Boo is gonna look like in thirty years. <laughs> Later. Okay. <laughs>